I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. From the studio of dreams at Tour Nation Productions, Mia Cardenas. Hello Austin students. Today, Friday, February 7th, we are very proud to announce the 22nd edition of Austin Weekly News. Welcome to the only place you can get your Austin related news. I'm Mia Cardenas and here are your morning announcements. In celebration of Black History Month, here are some important facts about Mr. Carter G. Woodson, also known as the father of Black History Month. On December 19, 1875, Carter Godwin Winsett was born in New Canton, Maryland. He attended Douglas High School in Huntington, a school in which black people were not normally allowed to attend. Mr. Woodson earned his high school diploma in two years. He received a bachelor's degree from Berea College, then graduated from the University of Chicago with a master's degree in European history. He then went on to earn a doctorate at Harvard in 1912. Woodson was the second African American to be awarded a doctorate in history from Harvard and was the first person of enslaved parents to receive a PhD in history. From 1915 to 1926, Mr. Woodson orchestrated the annual celebration of Black History Week. On April 3, 1950, Carter G. Woodson died in Washington, D.C. 26 years later, the holiday was extended from a week to a month, becoming Black History Month. We at Austin Middle School will do our best to educate, motivate, and appreciate the sacrifices made by Dr. Woodson and all the people that went the extra mile to make sure that opportunities are equal in education, employment, and the pursuit of happiness. Now my question to you today is, what will you do for Black History Month? In your sports news, trials for track and tennis begin on Thursday the 20th. Make sure that you have a physical prior to tryouts. In your school news, this Sunday, the Austin cheerleaders will perform at the Rockets game during halftime. NJHS will continue to sell Valentine items in the front foyer through Friday, February 14th. Purchase items will be delivered during last period on Valentine's Day. Fifth grade will attend a field trip to Moody Gardens on Tuesday, February 11th. There will be a $2 free dress on Wednesday the 12th. Also, next Thursday, we will host the Barnhill Preserve. Please return your permission slip in order to participate. Also, there will be an opportunity to take a picture with one of the live animals for $10 or purchase an item for $5. Students from STEM school in Culiacan, Mexico will be visiting Austin on Wednesday and Friday. This is their second year to visit. If you are planning on putting an ad into the yearbook, your forms are due next Thursday. Monday, February 17th is Parent Teacher Conference and President's Day. This means no school for students. Teachers will meet with parents regarding student progress. Are you ready for the lip sync battle after benchmark testing on the 19th? There is a $5 fee to perform and $3 to watch. The proceeds will go to the Costa Rica field trip. Sign-ups are due next Wednesday. Pennies for Patients will run through the month of February. Please place donations in the blue boxes located in your homeroom class. This project raises funds in support of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Together, we can change cancer. This week, we want to do a special core value shout out to Hannah Harper for exhibiting our core value of being responsible. Hannah is always one of the first to volunteer to help clean up and least to leave an A+. We also want to recognize these other Austin students and staff for exhibiting core values this week. Weekly news: The staff at the University of Liverpool Library was shocked when they found a slice of packaged cheese used as a bookmark. It was absolutely unbelievable. Good a thing that book wasn't damaged. That's this week's Austin Weekly News. I'm Mia, wishing you an awesome STEM weekend. <coughs> <coughs>